Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in today's video we are going to create this paper folding text reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now first I'm going to select the text tool and then we are going to type our text. So just click and type whatever you want. It's completely up to you. I'm going to type headline for this example. After that you can select your text and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. I'm using this go bold font. Now let's align this in the center. If you're not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's select this and let's move its anchor point to the center. For that you can select the layer, hold down the control key and then double click on this pan anchor tool. After that let's select this and press S. So now I'm going to quickly scale this up, something like this. Now this is going to act as a reference layer. So I'm going to quickly animate and let's add uh, tracking. So I'm going to decrease the tracking so that we have a really nice text, something like this. Now we can select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now we can select the bottom layer and let's lock this and let's hide this. So now let's change this and I'm going to type H which is the first character. So we are going to animate this. After that we are going to repeat the animation for all the other characters. So on this one I'm going to apply CC page turn effect. Just search for it and let's drag it onto this. So let's change couple of these parameters. So first I'm going to change the control to classic UI. After that let's set the fold direction to negative 85 and let's set the fold radius to something like 55 and let's set the light direction to 90 and let's set the back page to none after that we can use this and you can see that now our text is folding which is exactly what we want so let's pick a point somewhere around here now we can animate the page fold position so just add a keyframe over here then select the rear press u now let's move to somewhere around two seconds after that we can just simply move this to somewhere around here. So now if I play back here you can see we have the paper fold. Now we can select the keyframes press F9. After that we can go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph. Now let's change the graph to look something like this. So now if I play back here you can see we have this really nice page animation. So you can play around with this and you can see what looks better now we don't want our page to be visible in the beginning so for that we can create a mask or a track mat so let me just quickly right click and let's create a solid and let's make it red color so that it's visible just click on ok now i'm going to quickly move my indicator somewhere around here and let's place it below the edge and i'm going to just move it to the very edge something like this and now we can place the red solid on top of it after that we can select the layer and let's set this to alpha mat if you're not able to see the track mat option then you can click over here now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice paper folding effect just like that so we are going to use this as a base template and then we are going to recreate all the other letters first let me just quickly select both of these and then we can right click and let's pre-compose and let's call this character one just click on ok now we can select this and press ctrl D to duplicate it. So over here you can see we have total 8 characters. So I'm going to duplicate it 8 times. So let me just quickly select this. So we have 1, 2, let's duplicate it 3, 4 so that we have 8 characters in total. After that we can just simply select the character 1 and we have it over here. Now we can just quickly import all of the other characters just like that. Now first we have to change all of them. So we have H over here. So on this one we are going to change this to E. Because we are going to type headline. And there's one more thing that you can do. You can just simply enable the solid. And let's place it down below. After that you can just simply change its position. So that it's at the very edge. Something like this. Again let's place the solid on top of it. Let's disable it. Now we have to do the same thing for all of these layers. So over here I'm going to type A. And again let's place it below. Let's enable it. And you have to adjust the mask based on each of the characters. Just disable it and place it on top of it. Let's type D. And just keep on doing this. 
now i have changed all the characters so now let's just quickly align them so i'm going to just move them to somewhere around here and let's start doing with the single character so for the reference we can probably enable this and let's move the edge over here after that we can disable the reference then just simply select one of the characters and then just simply align them you don't have to be precise just do it randomly because we are going to adjust it later on there you go now you can see that we have all the characters and if i play back here you can see we have this paper folding animation but we have to tweak it further so first i'm going to select the top layer and let's apply drop shadow onto this and over here i'm going to change the opacity to 90 direction to 90 as well softness we can set this to 120 and let's increase the distance to something like 55 or maybe 50 it's completely up to you and now you can see we have this really nice shadow now you have to just simply copy this and just paste it onto all of these characters so now you can see we have the shadow but first we are going to play around with a couple of these positions so let me just quickly select this a and i'm going to just move it somewhere around here and let's select the e and i'm going to change its opacity to 100 so that this is a little bit darker now let's select the d and i'm going to place it over here and let's select the top layer and let's increase its shadow as well or maybe let's set this to 90 for now just keep on doing this with all the other layers so yeah i think this is looking fine and let's place our eye and let's place n over here we can select the eye and let's change this to 100 and let's select the e so now there is our text and if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation let me just quickly offset all of these so let's just zoom in and i'm going to select all of them and let's offset them by five frames so you can just hold down the shift key and then just simply select the layers which are bottom and just simply offset them by five frames something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice text animation let me just quickly create a new solid and let's change its color to something like this just click on ok and let's place it so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice text animation and it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want so this is how you can create this the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one